Hey there, I'm Lauren Taylor, a graphic and web designer for female coaches and creatives. In this video, I'm going to walk through how to change the height of a banner image inside Squarespace. So I'm inside of my current website and I use the Rally template, which is part of the Brine family. So for a lot of the index pages within Brine, um, they all have this similar setting for how to change the height of the banner image. So I have an index page um, right here, but also I know within Rally, um, regular pages will also have a section where you can directly edit the header. So if you click on edit, um, for my banner image right here, you'll notice I have eight different spacer blocks. So if I delete these, this is what will make the image appear smaller. So now if I click save, you'll see that it is much thinner and now you can see the word portfolio and my first um, client that I'm showcasing right there. So if you want to change the height, I would just recommend to use insert point to add a spacer block or as many spacer blocks as you'd like. And I recommend that you add individual spacer blocks because you, for the most part, want your banner images to be um, uniform across the website if you're using them at the top of each page. So instead of just taking the spacer block and just dragging um, it down, it's better to have individual spacer blocks, that way you can count them so you know how high um, or how long you need to make your banner image. So when that happens, when you're changing the sizing, um, sometimes the focal point um, will change. So when you check it on mobile and on tablet. So if you need to change what shows up in a mobile, you can click on banner and then you can move the focal point around. So let's say I put it all the way over here and then click save and looked at it in mobile. You'll see that now it's showing a lot more to the left. So that is how um, you would format your banner image um, in the rally um, in the rally template and for many of the other um, templates within the Brian family. So if you have found that helpful, please subscribe. I also have a freebie below, which is 10 costly website mistakes that are driving clients away from your website. So you can check that out. Thanks.